All right. Hey, thank you for waiting there. Appreciate that. Um, having some issues with Upland at the moment. It is not liking my login. There was something weird going on where it would not let me log into the iPhone at all. So I just need a second there while we try to figure that out because Upland, I found, is a much better experience when we're doing it on the iPhone. It's a lot faster. I can show you more through that. If we need to, we'll do the web app, but I think it's a lot better experience if we stick to the iPhone version. So you're going to see me playing with my settings here real quick. I do apologize for that. It is just what I need to do to make this work and not have you wait any longer. Who's in the room today? Welcome to the room. Hey, everyone. So again, just one second. Upland was giving me a hard time not letting me log in. So we're going to try that again here. Again, I apologize. This should be done earlier, but it was not being friendly and letting me log in. Hey, we're in. Awesome. Let's click connect here again. And we will go over the beginner's guide to Upland. It's a good day to do it. Um, the reason I was starting this today was because I have had some questions about Upland. What is it? How does it work? Is it NFTs? Is it worth getting into? Hey, buddy. How are you, D. Totten? Um, and then just about two, two and a half hours ago, uh, Upland went ahead and released their roadmap for 2021. So it's great timing because tomorrow there is going to be a stress test. And in that stress test, they're going to open up some new properties in Oakland to buy. The first city that was ever available was San Francisco. Yamster! What's up, Yamster? What's up, guys? Thank you for joining today. Um, so the first was San Francisco. All that property is sold out. As of about a week and a half ago, there's no longer any property available um, in San Francisco unless you're buying it secondhand from someone that currently owns it. After San Francisco, I believe was Fresno. Oh, no, sorry, New York. New York was available. There's still some property there. Um... But I don't think there's anything open besides secondhand at the moment. Brooklyn was the third city. Sorry, Fresno was the third city. Then Brooklyn. Brooklyn has been dropping some new properties every other week or so. There's a chance they might drop some Brooklyn properties tomorrow. Um, and some FSA properties. FSA properties is fair share. Um, you need to remember what the, the A is. So basically... Instead of just the top people, the top pros in the game with all the money, the whales, um, let, let them get all the properties. An FSA is only available for those players who have achieved Upland level or Uplander level. And once they hit pro level, you can no longer gain access to FSA properties. So it gives you a chance to get some really good properties uh, on the cheap and, uh, and be able to resell those. My mother, I got her into this. She, brought, she bought a $2,000 property um, when Oakland first launched, so about two and a half weeks ago. And someone brought that property for 80,000 UPS. So 2,000 UPX, that's the in-game currency. She sold that for 80, I wanna say 88,000 UPX. So there's a way to make a lot of this in-game currency. And after we go over the roadmap, it looks like we're pretty close to transferring that in-game currency to fiat, to US dollars. So there's a lot to cover today. If you're in the chat, let me know if you're brand new. Hey, Jack, how are you? Uh, absolutely. Pre uh, absolutely. I love it. Upwind, when I first got in, I made a lot of mistakes. I didn't know what to buy. I was just moving around San Francisco, and I ended up like taking some money out and purchasing a really expensive property, thinking that was the way to go. And it slowed me down quite a bit because that's all I had rather than going for these FSAs. Once you cross a certain line, you can no longer get access to these FSAs. So let's kind of start from the beginning. This is my profile right now. I'm Dr. Crispy on there as well. So if you join up, let me know. We'll be friends. Um, and I'm currently in Brooklyn, right over here. It's all based on a real world map. So the properties we're seeing, the addresses we're seeing are real addresses. As you zoom in, you're going to see some blocks show up. There you go. So blue box, blue blocks are currently owned by another player and they're not up for sale. Though if you hit one, there's the address 248 East 31st Street that is owned by Silvanigo. And um, I can't offer, there's that offer button right over there on the left hand side. So if you really want a property, you can offer someone something even if it's not currently for sale. 
a green property, a dark green property, right here, is for sale by another user. So right there, that person wants 850,000 UPX. Um, if we look, if you want to see what the the ratio is here, what the exchange rate is. We we'll get UPX at the very top. So 5,000 UPX, 499. Every thousand is basically a dollar. So if we're looking at 850,000 UPX, that's an $850 property in real US dollars that someone wants. Recently, there have been some landmarks sold for, I want to say, half a million dollars for the Chrysler Tower. So someone did pay upwards of 50,000 US dollars for that, I believe, is what it transferred to. So it's nuts. There's a lot going on here. Currently, um, you cannot exchange your UPX for US dollars. That is something that's coming. That is something that was explained uh, earlier. Some people are in the beta for that. So right now is a good time to get in there and see what's available. What I'm going to do here is you'll see my block explorer. It moves on its own. You're not controlling that unless you use what we call sends. You have so many sends available to you and you'll run out unless you collect more sends. You can't buy them anywhere. There's no store to buy sends. The way you move is you find, let's see if we can see any, paper airplanes on the map. When you find a paper airplane, you'll tap on that. If you're close enough to it, there's one right over here, right there. So I would have two. Right now I have about 10 cents. I'll move to that location and you'll see right above the address, 321 East 34th Street, on the left-hand side is 20 UPX is a little airplane with that logo. Uh, what that's telling you is that it costs 20 UPX to send your, what we call block explorer, your BE, to that location. The owner sets the price. So some locations are more expensive, expensive to move to than others. I'm going to move to that location. I have 11 sends. I should have shown you that. Next time I do a send, I'll, I'll, I'll slow down so you can see that. That moves my explorer there. I'll zoom in again. And there's that airplane. I'll tap it. And I got one send. I only got one send. You can get three sends, four sends. There's there's different amounts you can get there. There are also some piñatas you might run into that will give you more UPX um, and some treasures that might show up. But they're pretty, pretty hard to get to. What you want to know is how to get started. When you start, you're going to end up with, I believe, I believe you have 25,000 UPX as a starter. If you buy some UPX, uh, use the referral link. I'll drop it in here in a little, little bit. Because if you use someone's referral link, you get 50% bonus credits. So that person gets 50% of what you spent and you get 50% extra. It's worth doing. But don't go crazy. When you buy, I'll show you the store again. Don't buy 100 UPX because that's going to put you into a threshold where you can no longer get FSAs, those cheap properties. I'm going to look for some FSAs now and see if there are any available to show you what that looks like. It's a little hard to see them. When you're moving around the map, you will see properties that actually say FSA on them. You might hear a dog back there. I apologize. He's a, he's a little wound up today. So I'm just moving around the map looking for an FSA property. And Brooklyn's pretty bought out. It's pretty sold right now. So we might not be able to find one easily. There is a website you will want to bookmark. And I'll show it to you now. I've got so many windows open for different NFT related items. Uh, UPX. Oops. UPX World. This one right here. Bookmark this. UPX World. The reason you want to do that, this will have is a database that's constantly live and updating, and it's checking to see which FSA properties are available in an area you choose and which properties are available. Give me one second. I do apologize. My dog is losing his mind right now, which means there's probably some kind of critter out in the backyard. So one sec. Okay. Nothing a do closed door can't fix. So if we go here, you're going to look for big data properties. And this is where you get all the data on properties that are out there. I'm going to look in Brooklyn. 
go. We'll see if there's any FSA properties available. There's Brooklyn. We'll look at only FSA. And let's search. I'll show me if there's anything in Brooklyn currently that is an FSA. And then I'll show you how to type in a location so you can go right there. All right. So 9702 Avenue K seems to be an FSA available right now. If you look at my screen, on the bottom right hand side is a magnifying glass. We'll click there. We type that address. 9702 Avenue K. Now, when you look at properties that are FSAs from a distance, these are bought out. These are not actually live right now. So UPX World is a little behind, but if there is an FSA property, you will not be able to see if it's purchasable or not until you are close to it. You can, it'll be gray until you get into the area. So you do have to move to a location close to that in order to activate it where you can buy it. The reason that's important, if you're jumping into the stress test tomorrow and there is an address that you want, and again, these are real world addresses. So you can go on Google Earth, you can look around, you can find properties that you think are gonna be valuable. Um, businesses are great. Anything close to like a hub of traffic where people will likely go, these are all great properties. Um, you'll look for those and you can type those addresses in and go directly to them. But if there's nothing minted already near it, you have to find somewhere close enough and go there and hope your block explorer moves in the right direction. A tip, if your block explorer is not moving in the right direction, goes the opposite direction, send it again to that same location and try to get it to go where you want it to go. There was a drop of some really valuable properties last week and my explorer kept going in the wrong direction. So I missed out on a really great spot. There are collections in this game that are really valuable. People want them, they're limited. So whoever gets them can demand a high price for them. If we look at this little three, this menu in the middle, the three little dots at the very bottom, boom. Here's your quick menu. You're gonna see collections right in the top center. And collections give you a bonus. So when you have a property, it's collecting rent all the time. The more properties you have in a collection, you can start getting boosts. And the boosts are just gonna multiply that amount. So if we look here, I don't have New Yorker. I have a newbie, I hit edit collection. Whatever properties you own, you can take one of those and place it towards the collection. If it's towards that collection, it cannot be used for any other collections. You know, it kind of looks like Monopoly here. So I have one there, and that unlocked 1.1x value whenever I get paid out on that. Wow, the dog is losing his mind right now. And we'll go further and further and further. The higher up we go, the more valuable those properties, the more sought after they are, the harder they are to get. So Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn, Financial District in Brooklyn, Park View, 57th Street, Bleecker Street, Houston. And we go up and up and up into the Golds, Times Square, Wall Street, Last Act, Media Capital. It'll tell you what you need near the bottom. And then you also get a reward when you complete one. So it's not just the boost you get, you get paid out with a reward if you get some of the properties in that area. Billionaire's Row. I'm gonna switch this over to Oakland because here's your best chance to get some of these collections. If we're looking at Brooklyn or New York or San Francisco, you're probably too late to get any of the real collection pieces, the high value ones. But a lot of these have not been released yet inside of, um, inside of Oakland. There's still a lot there. So historical Oakland, Oakland libraries, Jack London murals, those are all still available to you. Um, and I think some of them might have been released so far, but there's still properties that activate that. Jack London murals is interesting to me. There are certain buildings in Oakland that have graffiti on them, and they're all part of these Jack London murals. So if you get two of those, you can unlock basically the highest end collection. You get paid out 40,000 uh, UPX on that, and you'll have some really great properties so people will come visit all the time. I'd love some questions while we go over this. So it's not just like this lecture. Whatever questions you have around how this works, let me know and we can talk about that because I think that's important for you. Um, again, I did mention, don't just go crazy buying properties that are owned by someone else. So these dark green properties, 
You may see light green properties. Those are harder to find. A light green property means it's not owned by anyone. It never has been owned by anyone. It's available there for you to grab. Um, you can just go ahead and buy that. It's usually a pretty good price, much like an FSA. It'll usually a little bit higher, but a lot like an FSA. For you starters, you want those FSA, FSA properties. So the first thing you want to do is get to Uplander status. You want to go from newbie to Uplander. In order to do that, you're going to need to buy some properties, right? So you might need to buy some of these green properties and find those properties or buy some UPX, one of the two. I think buying UPX is probably your best bet because you want to get ready on the FSAs. You want to be ready to capitalize on those. So if we're starting, seeing what some of the prices were on the last drop, I think if you're at the $20, 20,000 uh, 20, UPX or the 50,000 UPX, somewhere in there is where you want to start at. You want to go too high. I think 20,000 is probably a good start for you because you're gonna get those 25 to start anyway. I think I think the number is 25. If you're starting up, let me know what that number is now. It could vary. Um, but you don't wanna cross that 100,000 mark. You cross that, you're gonna have a problem buying FSAs. Does that make sense to everyone? I hope it does. I hope it does. And let me, get, let me know again if there's any questions around that. What's really interesting here about um, this is, again, I love the idea of real estate and buying virtual real estate and getting in early on that because right now since you can't transfer money and you can't get nfts so much out of this you do mint that property but it's all owned right now by upland they have all that but they are releasing all these items as nfts soon according to the roadmap and again it's perfect that today was the day that they launched this roadmap for us to view I'm going to skip a little bit of it here. Well, let's go up to the very, uh, the very important stuff. Property development. So pretty soon you're going to be able to develop on the property. You got four, is it 4K now? So 4K UPX starting today, nothing close to 25. Okay. So 4K, you don't have that much to play with then. So then I would definitely move into like, if you can, the 50,000 UPX to get started. So you can just buy as many FSA properties as possible right off the bat. It's your best value because Oakland's going to fill up pretty, pretty soon. Probably in this next test, stress test or the next drop, most of Oakland will be gone. Um, and Brooklyn. Then we're going to start looking for other cities to open up. And you're not going to have a lot of room to play. As these other things open up, it's going to drive more players. So if we're looking at um, right here, in-app NFT management. The Upland app will provide players with an easy way to access, view, and manage the NFTs they own. So they are turning all of this into NFTs. You will be able to sell them on different blockchains, not just here inside of Upland. And that's important. They're going to be able to be flexible on that. They're going to have upload tokens. So if any of you were part of the card drop a month ago, it looks like some of those cards that are available now on Atomic Hub will become NFTs that you drop. Well, they're already NFTs, but they can be used or uploaded into the game. And that's pretty inter interesting. So those will have some value to sell back and forth. If I move up here, where is our development initiatives? Cool. So block explorer shops. So pretty soon they're going to have it where you can get your own custom uh, block explorer to buy. The way it works right now is, and maybe that's not custom, I apologize. There is a way to get custom now. If you hit director status, so you hit $1 million in either UPX or in a property value, you can submit to get your own custom block explorer. So you're gonna be moving around, you're gonna see people that have like a weird, a weird explorer. Let's see if we find one now. That isn't available to you. It'll be someone's, like this one here is likely someone's face. Let's see what they are. That's a pro, nope, not there. Really, directors and so on will have their own unique block explorer, and you can get your own too if you hit director status. Who's that? Asylum. Sup, man. Sup. How are you doing? Um, we'll go here. Landmark construction. You don't need that right now. Engagement spark. Where is the interesting stuff I saw earlier? Okay. Portable map items. Car. Okay, look at this. Cars. So soon you'll get cars in the game. The way only to travel travel now is through block explorers, or um, you can move your block explorer to a train station. 
Why? To a train station or an airport terminal and you can fly from there. You can move around from there. The, if you're, let's say, in San Francisco, you have to go to a terminal for the train station, take the train station to the airport, and then get on a plane and actually fly all the way to New York, or to JFK, I think is where you go. And then from there, take another train all the way to Brooklyn. So you actually have to go through all these processes to move to any other cities. It's not as simple as a, hey, I want to be in Brooklyn right now. Hey, I want to be in Oakland right now. There's cost involved to UPX. So when you choose somewhere to start, choose wisely. When you start, pick Oakland right now. I think that's your best bet. Unless you want you want to go to Brooklyn and wait for any of these third wave properties to show up. But right now, your best value, I believe, is going to Oakland and just having some money ready to go to purchase those FSAs as quickly as possible. It is going to get crazy. The stress test tomorrow, um, when it launches, you want to be in the area already. Don't wait for the stress test to get there. So move your Block Explorer. If you've started already, move your Block Explorer there now. Get waiting in the area. You can see where it's gray. You can see the gray areas. That means the properties are not minted yet. Hey, bud. The properties are not minted yet. So that's likely we're going to see some properties show up available tomorrow. He is, he is wound up. Thanks, bud. I'm not sure what's going on. He is just wound up today. So you bought an FSA in Oakland. No, no, it's not a mistake at all. It's not a mistake. Getting an FSA is exactly what you want to do. The more FSAs you get, the better off you're going to be. Just know the areas. You know, there's good areas anywhere and there's bad areas. Hey, buddy. You got a bump, bud. Ooh, okay, go take some allergy medicine. Yeah, what'd you eat? This is my son, uh, one of my two sons, and he's got a little bump here. He does have some food allergies. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's a madhouse today. I don't know why. It's not usually this crazy, but today is a madhouse. Um, good, yeah. So so make sure you know the property, right? Because some properties won't go up in value, really. When I went to Oakland, what I was looking for was anything near the train station, anything near the docks, anything that's going to be close to some of those bigger properties in the collection. Because not all of them opened up. Most of the collection properties didn't open for Oakland. There was a mistake made and some of those properties were released and minted but most of those are still going to be available once they go live and some will probably be live tomorrow and that's going to drive people to those same properties what will happen is last week this is probably going to be the same thing this week is on the discord for upland they release the addresses of the collection properties right before launch like seconds before launch so you wanted to pick one of those and get there as fast as possible but they're testing to see what that looks like. Last week, um, this caused an issue with sends where everyone was using the same address. Again, because if there's nothing minted in an area, you have to go to the closest possible spot. And one property in particular was the only close spot to a very valuable property. So everyone started going to there, which bottlenecked it and people could just not get through. Yeah, so um, how they're going to do it tomorrow, it's, good. it's up to them how they're going to do it. But tomorrow, the way they did it last week was they announced that they're going to stress test. They gave those properties out, said here's the, the collection properties. And they want to get as many people possible as going. On top of that, they released some pinatas throughout the map. And if you just happen to go through one of the pinatas while you're moving around, you would get whatever's in there. You actually have to like hit the screen a bunch of times and get whatever UPX, whatever coins are available out of that. But they're just trying to push it hard. And by releasing only a small handful of properties, they're seeing what that looks like when everyone tries to go to the exact same location. What happens when everyone's trying to rush for these really valuable properties? And they're going to do something similar tomorrow. So it's a rush. But not like of these players who are really into it, they can't get the FSAs. The FSAs are going to last the longest. And that's by seconds. So you want to see what's an FSA and get to that as fast as you can or get to properties nearby that are FSAs. Because again, they're your cheapest ones. And once those are gone, they're gone. People are going to offer you double what you pay for them right off the bat. I don't think you should take it unless you really need the cash. But I would hold on to most FSAs 
because of all these changes coming, right? If we went back to this, um, here we go, property to US dollars. So currently they're in closed alpha. Only 100 players can, can exchange their currency in Upland for US dollars. But in 2021, that's going to be everyone. They're saying by the end of the year, everyone can do that. So now we have real value, real US dollar value to what you're buying. And once that happens, you're going to get a giant influx of users, right? Once people know they can cash out, like anything else, like MLB and Tops, like Top Shots, once there's a chance for someone to quickly flip and make a lot of money, you'll get an influx of users. Right now, they can't do that. So you're playing a longer game. You're buying, you're holding, you're waiting until all these things come to fruition so you can cash out because you can't cash out now. With the hopes being it's a good cash out, right? And knowing already that a quick $2,000 property turned into an $88,000 property um, within a couple of days, that tells me, yeah, this is there's going to be a, a market there. And knowing that these landmarks that have sold already have sold for tens of thousands of real U.S. dollars already, and this is new to most people. Most people don't know about Upland. It's a good sign for what's to come. They're going to give business licenses soon, so you'll be able to sell items in Upland. That's interesting. Art inside of Upland. So they're turning this into a world, right? There's going to be commerce inside of Upland. There's going to be art inside of Upland. There's going to be leasing inside of Upland. Um, you can actually lease your properties out, they're saying, at some point, so you can rent the properties. I don't know. There's a lot here. Home experiences. This is um, what I was talking about earlier where certain NFTs that were part of the set that just came out will be able to come into the game. So there were trophies and things for your living room on these cards. It just did nothing when the NFTs dropped last month. But it looks like you'll be able to pull those into your home in Upland. A lot of really interesting things happening there. Primary residence, neighborhood ratings and collection spawn that's interesting each neighborhood in the city will have development rating a score given to a neighborhood that is based on a combination of the number of developed properties and their quality elements that affect the quality of development include size residents associated supplemental items number of businesses and so on so yeah getting a good property especially in a business area is going to be super valuable later on um, what else we got here? Welcome to the chat room. Someone else just joined. Thank you for joining. Racing. This is a weird one. Out of all the things they're adding in there, they're adding racing in your cars. I don't know how that's going to work. I have no idea what they're talking about with that, but looks like the sky is the limit with these Upland guys or the team. I don't, I don't know what they're made up of. Um, Battle Royale. So, <laughs> new Battle Royale mechanic will offer players the opportunity to team up and launch competitions on demand. The competitions they've had so far, they, they're doing them pretty regularly, is usually based on like a treasure hunt. Well, they will drop clues, and the first person to get to a property gets whatever that is. Um, let me see. I can take a look at your property. Yeah, what's your what's your name on there? I'm going to take a look. Or what's the property address? We'll look at it right now. So city expansions, in-app user interaction, communication, activity feed. Right now there's no chat system in there. It's all through like Discord and so on. So leasing properties is awesome. It's going to take longer to get anywhere. So true movement speed. Right now you click from one place to the other, it moves pretty quickly. But they're going to change that, it sounds like. It's going to take you as long as it takes in real life to move from point A to point B. So it's going to be grabbing properties harder in the future. Another reason to grab properties now. 9608 Castlewood Street. Let's take a look. 9608 Castlewood Street in Oakland. Here we go. This is your property. Nice. Autumn's Toys. There you are. Property size 56. It's a good size of land. Good size lot. Let's take a look at the street view. So this is the property you just bought right here. Nice. Is that a duplex? Is it just a single family home? Yeah. You're doing good. You're doing good. This is not a bad area. Right? Good size. Uh, a good lot. Good lot size here. 
there are some other properties that are not. See all those grays around you? That are not opened up yet. So you'll have a chance to, to buy those. What's really nice about buying properties in different areas is that you get to move your block explorer there for free, I think three times a day. So if you don't have any sends left, you can move around to these different properties that you already own. Look at your collections and see what you've completed. If we go here, I'm gonna change that again to Oakland. It should be King of the Street. Own three properties. Hi. I got some food delivered. I got some Popeye's chicken. I'm excited. I love that chicken from Popeye's. I don't know why I just did that. I don't. I'm not. They're not funding me in any way, shape, or form. I'm not affiliated with Popeye's, but it's pretty delicious. So right there. You own three properties in the same street. You're going to get a bonus on those, and then you get a reward, too. I can't remember what it was. I already collected it. Yamster. 2657 Hickory Street in Oakland. When did you did you guys start playing? Just today? Hickory Street. I could spell. Let's take a look. I got a drink. I'm super thirsty. I got a drink. Take a sip. That's the drink song. I'll never remember it. Let's take a look. Oh, cool. Yeah, man. Nice. What'd you pay for it? I always look at the homes that are nearby. I wonder why this person's grayed out or I blurred out. I look at the street, see if there's value in that, right? Somewhere people want to live. So nice areas are always good. My logo looks like Popeyes? Does it really? One. It kind of does. It kind of does look like Popeyes. Yeah, 3,000 is great, dude. That's fantastic. It does. You're right. Man, I need to get sponsored by Pop. I need to get to affiliate, then partner, and then I can start going to Popeyes and say, hey, I need free chicken for myself. I need to give out some free chicken to my viewers. Make it happen. I need chicken coupons. I need beignet coupons. Or at least biscuits. Give me biscuits because they're delicious. Like, I'll just... I'll get so fat on their biscuits. This is... Why is this a Popeye's commercial, guys? I'm sorry. If there become if there's Popeye's locations in the game, I'm going to buy them all up. Ooh, there's another important thing. You can buy businesses that exist, right? So if you see a business you always wanted to own or you're a fan of... Go buy that property. You go buy it because here's another thing. They're working with brands to get brands in there. So if you own the Popeye's chicken location, I'm not pay you for that. Free upland chicken. You never know. But they are working with big companies to get them involved more. So you'll see some of that. You'll definitely see some of that. Right now, you can buy museums. You can buy police stations. Um, I have a friend who's collecting uh, anything that's an aquarium. Anything that's uh, sea-based, she's trying to buy all those up. So you can definitely go collection and just go become a mogul around a certain focused thing. I'm personally looking at uh, movie properties. Anywhere that a movie that I love from like the 80s was filmed, I'm going to try to get some of those properties as more and more open these up, uh, more of these open up. So, yeah, find something you're really interested in and, and buy towards that as well. Like make the game fun for yourself. Don't make it just about buying property although that's what it is, but have fun with it too, right? Find, buy things you, you like. I spent a lot of time on Google Earth and just trying to find some properties that I really liked. When they opened up Oakland, I went straight for like the really expensive properties. So I went to Piedmont over here. And I bought two homes right over here, two properties. And these don't have value right off the bat, but these are some of the most expensive areas in Oakland. So over time, they'll be in higher demand. There's my street view. So you see these giant homes is what I'm trying to buy over here and collect. In a really nice area. That's kind of what I went for. But now I'm trying to move more towards businesses. Because I'm finding businesses are where people are willing to just throw money at right now. If you're near downtown area, 
If you've got a good spot there, people are throwing money at you, especially these whales. And there's a lot of whales currently inside of Upland. But yeah, Yamster, great buy. How much um, how much GPX do you guys have right now? Are you ready for tomorrow's drop, or do you need more? I want to eat this chicken sandwich so bad. You want to have a good amount ready um, because you want to fill up on those FSAs. You're not gonna, you're only at one real shot at FSAs. So you got the 45 that they gave you. Cool. Cool. If you're going to buy some more, make sure you use a link, right? Use my, use my link because and I don't know if it works once you're live active or not, but try it because you want that 50% bonus, right? You want, all, that's a lot of UPX to just leave on the table. Grab those. Yeah. Yeah, you do need like I I I put a good amount in to get where I'm at right now. My my goal is to get to director. I'm quite a ways away, right? I'm a quarter, not even a quarter of the way there to director, but I want my custom Doctor Crispy Explorer to move around. Yeah, drop the link, sure. I will drop the link for you now. Referral program, copy link. Let's paste right here. Have I explained that the the iPhone to Mac copy on your iPhone and just paste it on your Mac instantly thing is just the best thing I've ever existed I've ever experienced? I used to have to like mail myself something and then copy it and paste it. Now it's just copy another one and paste it on the other one. It's great. Um, what do I got there? How much do we need to stay under in order to keep buying? So you need to stay under a hundred thousand. Under a hundred thousand, and it takes in whatever you sell something for, any properties you own. But there is there is a tip. I don't know if it's a cheat, so I, I don't know if I should give it to you. It's a little, uh... So here's something, there's an escrow in the game. So if you put an offer on something, that money you put the offer on is currently an escrow and not factored into your total earnings. So let's say you bought something and it puts you right over 100,000. There's an FSA property you really want. Maybe you offer someone a large amount of money on a property that's not worth that. Well, that's scary. And quickly buy and undo it. But you could get caught. <laughs> someone could just snipe and, and you know, wow, someone just offered me a whole lot of money for this property. So I don't know if that's a legit move or not. I had to do it because I made a mistake. The mistake I made was not knowing that once I bought UPX, it would put me over that threshold. So I was all excited in Brooklyn to get all these properties near Coney Island. And I'm like, well, I need money for this. I just bought. I bought like $50 worth. Um, yeah, it's Jack, it's awesome. It depends on which, which operating system you have. So you need the newest OSs, I believe, to make it work. Mojave on the, on the Mac, I think, at least. And I don't know what iOS version. But yeah, you copy on one and just command V on the other. And you just paste it wherever you copy on your iPhone and vice versa. It's sick. It's so easy. Um, so yeah, I bought... 50 50k worth and it shot me up over the threshold so the reason i bought it was to buy fsas i couldn't buy fsas luckily i had a friend who knew i was panicking because i'm like i just spent this money for no reason now and she had me make an offer on her property that was very high that she would not accept to keep that money in escrow so i could buy what i was intending to buy i kind of had to do that a couple times to get enough of what i wanted they get everything i wanted because at a certain point, you just can't do anything. Like, you're you're over that threshold. Um, and if you do go over that threshold, it's going to give you the, op the option to upgrade your account right there. Don't do it. Until you're sure you're done being able to buy FSAs. Then you can't kind of manipulate it a little bit so you can buy a couple more FSAs. Because once you do upgrade your account, there's no going back. There's nothing you can do. Um, yeah, cool. So any more questions? Throw me some questions. I want to make sure you guys are ready for this tomorrow. And there's more There's more jobs coming with this. But I think tomorrow's Oakland stress test is going to be big. Because the last few drops have gone so quickly on these properties that it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I, I really think Upland's one of those that it's just going to take off at some point soon. And the earlier you are adopting and getting properties, the better the better off you're going to be, right? So I have like two properties in San Francisco, and I'm holding those 
because that was the first city. So those are going to go up in value and up in value and up in value because um, you can't get in there anymore. There's nothing you can do. You're just locked out. You can still get into Brooklyn. You can still get into some in New York, and you can still obviously get into Fresno and Oakland. Fresno doesn't have a lot of traction, so I just stay out of Fresno. There's no reason to be there. But Oakland is taking off. And there'll be more, right? And the, what you want to do is kind of parlay, right? You want you want to buy some good properties, put them up there, get a good return on your investment, unless you're holding long term, and flip them so you can use that UPX towards the next big thing, towards the next big property, whatever. What's LA? Imagine once Los Angeles hits, it's gonna be crazy, and they're going international too. So London will probably be there at some point. Sydney might be there at some point. Like, there's all these places. They're going to open up. You want to be in that position to have UPX ready to go and buy. Because you're not... Your FSA is a one-shot. You're never going to get FSAs again. Want to test if the link worked? How much do you... Um, so $50 is going... I'll show you right here. 50 bucks is going to be $50,000. you are going to get $75,000 if it worked. So you'll get, a, you'll get a nice boost. But again... That's putting you close to that threshold, right? So just, you're fine, because you're going to start with 4000 But don't buy any more. Like, that's your cap. That's your cap. And if it puts you anywhere close, I will send you some of my property addresses, guys. So if you need to use that escrow thing, because you got too close buying the 50 and getting the bonus 75K, I don't want to jip you. So um, just, I'll, I'll give you a property address here. Yeah, I'm not trying to manipulate the system, but I don't want you to get messed up because you got this bonus amount of money for doing. I, I, you know, I don't. It doesn't seem fair for you to like lose out on the chance of FSAs. So I have this one, um, uh, 66 Cook Street. That's an easy one to remember. 66 Cook Street. Uh, I had it on sale. Let's not do that one. I'll do it. 66 Cook Street. I'm gonna take it off the market. So take it off the market completely. And that way, if you need to make an offer to it, I will not accept any offers on 66 Cook Street uh, tomorrow during the stress test. So, you know, let me know if you need, I'm not going to touch it. So if you need to use that anyway, you need to use it. Hopefully it helps you again. It's not to, I don't want to cheat the system anyway. It's not that the point of this. But if this buying 50,000 puts you at 75, then you're just locked out of FSAs. When you're first starting, because I gave you a tip to make some extra cash, that's not fair. That's not fair to you. So, hopefully it helps you. I'll take a little drink here. Hit me with some other questions. What am I missing so far? Showed you how to move around with your Balk Explorer. Right? Um, if there's questions still about that, let me know. There is treasure hunting in the game. I don't think it's worth it. But I'll show it to you so you understand how it works. On your quick menu, you're going to see treasures. And you'll be able to spawn. Right now, it says spawn free. That one treasure chest. No bonus. No bonus if you already started it, huh? Yeah, auto, I'll go over it again. That sucks. So if you already started your account, it looks like you do not get the referral bonus if you use my link. That's Sorry, guys. I apologize. That, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You did get a bonus. You did get a bonus because I just got it. You see my UPX just jumped up to 53,000. I had 28 and we started. So it does work. Who was that? Was that you, Adam? Or Yamster? Who was that? Bonus works, guys. Bonus works. So that's your personal treasure chest there at the top. You have charging. Um, these are classic and these riots that will happen. These are, they just jump for you right now. Cool. So it comes after your initial purchase. You'll get a little bump afterwards. Cool. Um, so those will be some group ones, some group treasure chests that are out there. But here's why I say it's not worth it. I'll spawn one for free. You'll get 230 to 6,600 UPX by get by finding the treasure chest. So I've spawned it. It's somewhere in the area. Where am I? Find myself. 
There's my block explorer. You will tap an, a location you're near. It pulls up that screen and you'll see treasure as one of the options. Click treasure. And you'll see at the very top of my screen now, and it's going to change depending on where it's at, but it's telling me it's up and you'll see the blip, the blip. It's a slow blip, which means it's directly up, but quite a ways away. And I don't know where. I'm just going to throw it over here. When I do this, it uses up one of my sentences. And that one costs 40 UPX to visit. So again, it costs money whenever you visit someone. I'm going to hit send, and that will send me over there. I have 11 sends left. I'm confirming that that's, that's where I want to go. And as I get there, zoom in, tap it, and treasure again. And you'll see the blip is faster. I didn't go far enough. That's what treasure hunting is on here. You'll do that until you find the treasure. But it's using up sends, and sends are really, really valuable because they're hard to get if you're running out of them. I prefer not to ever do treasure hunts unless it is part of one of their events. All right, so they had these events. They had an Easter one where they dropped a clue, and if you got to that location, you would open an Easter egg, and then you would be given the next clue to the next location. And I almost came in first. I was right behind, but I came in fifth. And by doing that, I unlocked my an Easter um, Explorer, which they haven't given us the prizes yet. But I will have my own Explorer that only, I think they had two drops, so 20 people will have. Um, and those Explorers, too, are sellable. So there's only 20 of them. I've got one of them. And it was something I can sell for US dollars at some point, too. Right now, you can, I think you can sell them for UPX, but I'll be able to sell it for US dollars down the road so again getting in early getting some of these things that are you know early adopter bonuses and exclusives is gonna make is gonna be great later on when someone's here two years and they're like in la and like man i really want that money whatever it is and if you get to the point where you're a director and you have your own block explorer you can sell that too because it's like a one of someone can pretend to be you so that was movement too in the treasure hunting that's how that works as you get closer to the treasure, it'll turn red. And it'll tell you, hey, you're like within so much. So you know you're within so much range to get that. But I think it's just a waste of money. Unless there's something special happening. Not worth doing. You're, you're spending your sends. You're spending UPX. And then you find one and it's usually like the base basement 230 or 100 UPX. You just waste money doing that. Cool. What else you got, guys? Hit me with some questions. Hit me with some questions. That's just. Uh, I need to. I need to just have a, a soundboard. Unless I blew your ears out, and I apologize. Um, challenges. No challenges right now. What else can I show you on here? There's a store. Treasures, leaders, uh, properties that you own are listed. So you can go through them, set your values. So let's see, you go to 36 Elizabeth Street. And, oh, here's what you can set. So it's it's on sale right now. But I'll hit the more. And you can see your title as to when you purchase that um, property. You can view it on the blockchain. So it shows that it really is yours. Oh, what the heck? Cloudfire. Cloudfire doesn't like me. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I do think you should buy FSA properties as you find them. But at the same time, you are you want to get the best properties possible. So some FSA properties will stick around longer than others. Oh, here we go. There's there's no, new information that just dropped. So 9 a.m. is the stress test. Similar to the last stress test, they're going to open up 15 desirable collection properties. You don't have to admit any properties, but if you'd like to participate, they'll drop 100 pinatas, just like last time. So they're going to list the 15 properties right before the drop, so 9 a.m. on their Discord in the announcements channel. Um, if you're in my Discord for NFT chat, it should auto-populate. Any announcements from Upland should go into that first channel, the various NFT announcements. It should show up there. But if not, you can hang out in the Discord for Upland. As soon as those property addresses drop, you want to go for them. So be in the area. If you see, it's going to be some collection pieces. We know that. 
Probably some of the top end collections. Probably the um, what was the the Jack Russell? Is that what it's called? Was it Jack? That's a terrier. That's not the Jack Russell terrier. Let's go back over here. So we're probably looking over here at the Jack London murals. You'll probably see some Jack London murals. I don't know if you're going to see libraries tomorrow. That'd be interesting. Um, historic Oakland, historical Oakland, college. Out so you're going to see some of these show up tomorrow. So I would do your research now and try to get yourself positioned because you don't know where it's going to be or which ones. But if there's something you really want, try to position yourself there right before 9 o'clock. Send your block explorer near an area where you see properties are not minted yet and some of those are the ones you want from the collections. Just be ready and be over there. Because people are going to have to move and send there. And that's where the block's going to happen. So if you're in an area already and you happen to be near one of the ones that drop, grab them. But on top of those 15 properties, they're going to open up some FSAs, I'm sure. They did it last time. And some of those high collection pieces will be FSAs. At least one will. So try to burn through that as fast as you can. Copy, paste, copy, paste. There's that tip from earlier on that. Copy, paste on a Mac. If you got a Mac, copy on your Mac and paste it right in there on the phone. I prefer to use the phone or an iPad for up for Upland. I try it on my Mac, and it is so slow on the web app that you're not getting anything. It just takes forever to load and move around. But on the phone, I can zip around pretty quick and get what I need. So yeah, uh, yeah, so you should buy them, but take a look at the area. Try to get try to get the best possible properties. Look at what's good in Oakland. Um, if you go to Oakland now, okay. So you see, there's a train station right here, that little terminal, right in this area. The Embarcadero area. See if there's anything left. There's, see these properties that are gray? There's a lot of properties that are still gray there. Second Street. Some of these bigger properties are still there. But you want to look at, you want to do a street view. Because there's some that are in the area that are just still bad. So under 4K again, a few blocks away from other places. Yeah, that's good. I mean, there, there, you can't go wrong with an FSA. It's good. But try to maximize your value which is when they drop FSAs, right? When they drop new FSAs, fresh ones, those are going to be the most sought after. If they're sitting there for a little while, that means they're good, but they're not like the most sought after. You want the ones that as soon as they're fresh, you start grabbing and minting those as fast as possible. There's usually a rush on those. So, oh, look at that. There's a block explorer that's different. That's a director. So this person has, look at, look at their assets. Block explorers. So they have two that are special. Classic Bruce and BCH Zombie Blue. That was a gift one. That was a prize. Classic Bruce. I don't know what that was. There's 407 of those. So it looks like that was also... Oh, there was a Brooklyn Burn um, event that happened before I got into the game. And you got that one. So the Embarcadero, there's... A couple areas that aren't open yet. Right over here, Main Street. I believe this is a good area. I know there was a lake that had, is this it right here? Yeah. There were some properties around here that were really valuable. Yeah, 500,000 and so on. But you see these right here, these gray ones? There's all these properties that are not open yet. So you're probably going to see some of those open up tomorrow, right here. But look at the collections. You can actually see which um, houses are considered, or properties are considered historical land in Oakland, and find the ones you like and get ready for those. Just be in the area of those. It's all the research. It's, it's just like real estate in real life. There's a lot of research to it. But I think you make a lot of money down the road doing this. What else you got for me, guys? I will have to cut the stream a little shorter tonight. Uh, as you heard, dogs going a little crazy. Food's waiting for me. 
and the baby is it's a little madhouse tonight so i don't want to um make my family hate me and disown me by streaming tonight but i appreciate y'all being here if you haven't followed me please do follow um i i'm just that close to to an affiliate so whatever i can do to get that boosted up i would appreciate that very very much Hit me with some more questions before the night ends. I do want to make sure you are ready to go for tomorrow. I will be there alongside you trying to, to grab some properties. Oh, look at that, Yamster. There's the bonus. There's the bonus came through. It's telling me you, you did it. You did it. Again, be ready early. Don't try to run in tomorrow at 9 a.m. Just be there. It looks like we are out of questions for the night, yeah? Did you guys get all the answers that you needed for Upland? Is there anything still outstanding that you don't under don't get yet that's going to help you for tomorrow? I think I missed. I'm sure I'm, I'm done with the stream. I'm going to be like, oh, I forgot this and this and this one. But really, this was just supposed to be a primer for you to jump in and feel comfortable tomorrow on what to do and not make the mistakes I made, which is just buying these properties that were not FSAs, boosting myself up a little bit. When you hit the first tier, which is uh, Uplander, it's going to ask you to upgrade your account. You do want to do that one. Going from newbie or visitor to uplander, you, you do want to do that because that's what unlocks FSAs for you. You can't get FSAs as a visitor. Actually, you probably did they give you FSAs already? So that might have changed. Maybe you can't get FSAs now. Let's find out. Okay, I'm seeing no questions in the chat. I am seeing Popeye's chicken getting cold. So I do appreciate you all being here. And I'm going to sign off for the night. But we got some more stuff coming up this week. This is a quick little one that we came up with, I came up with tonight to just give you prepped. But we have a big release coming on Wednesday. Two releases. You're an Uplander? Okay, so that did unlock FSAs for you. You just couldn't do it before. All right, cool. And again, FSAs, you'll see it gray. But you, you can't tell if you can buy it until you're in the area. So get in the area and it will unlock the, the FSA for purchasing. I'll turn it bright green. On Wednesday, we're going to have two drops. Weezer, number one. Um, I'll be opening packs of Weezer if I get packs of Weezer and hopefully get a one of one um, toy. I might have to do that one early because if it's anything like the Tops one was, we learned one of ones go quickly. They're not sitting waiting in packs. So I'll open those fast on Wednesday during the day. And then we have the Mars drop, Mar Colonize Mars. That drop is happening on Wednesday. I will grab some packs. And I don't think we can open those till Thursday. But I'll grab some of those packs. We'll do stream on Wednesday, cracking some Weezers, giving maybe some Weezers away if I get a bunch of extras. Be happy to get share share the wealth on those. And then Colonize Mars. It's live for 24 hours. I think it's probably worth getting a couple packs, um, a few packs, because it's another property type of, of initiative or IP. All right. Guys. Have a great night. Thank you so much for joining me for this short stream. Any other questions, hit me in the Discord. Hit me on Twitter.